three, two, one, go. That's the sound of SUNY Oswego meteorology students counting down the release of data collecting weather balloons. The 17 students working the nationwide eclipse ballooning project have been tasked with uncovering new information on the impact eclipses have on the atmosphere, wildlife, and upcoming weather patterns. The balloons are helping them find answers. Dr. Barber, one of the professors currently leading the field campaign, says that one of their goals is to look for gravity waves. Air motions in the stratosphere theorize to move away from the path of the eclipse. So we can learn uh, just beyond the stratosphere gravity waves, the eclipse will influence our local, uh, the how weather will change locally. That does not mean we're going to go from a perfectly clear sky to, oh my gosh, there's a supercell over Oswego. It will influence what we call the stability of the atmosphere, and that will influence how our clouds develop. Meteorology student Sarah Griskevich says the team is also investigating how the eclipse will affect the waves on Lake Ontario. Um, we have our own student hypotheses that we formed last semester in our semester course. Uh, one of those, in, one interesting one was watching how the waves change on Lake Ontario um, in response to the wind. So we want to see how uh, wind affects the, the waves and how, um, how dynamic it becomes on campus pretty much. Throughout the academic year, the class has been hosting outreach events all across the state, meeting a total of over 1,600 students. But even on Eclipse Day, the efforts haven't stopped. The group started setting up on Sunday morning and have been releasing balloons hourly since 2 p.m. Every hour sounds like there's plenty of time to get that balloon up, uh, but the time goes really fast actually. And we really only have about 20 minutes of free time where you can, you know, use the bathroom, uh, have a snack, recover, and then we start the process all over again. Uh, I think it's it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a very active day on campus as well. Um, Everyone should really try to go to these eclipse events um, and activities that are happening on campus. The team will be stationed in a roped-off area in the lawn between the Murano Campus Center and Lake Ontario.